Hello everyone, today I will show you how to make the jet fighter the F-35. This is one of the best paper ever that I ever make. And this one fly very well as well. In order to make the F-35, you need a printing paper. This is a letter size 8.5 by 11 inches. Let's start now. First step, you need to fold the paper in half. This way. Okay. And then you need to fold the paper in half again. Okay. Next step, fold the paper in half. This way. Open the paper, start from this crease, we will fold it to this crease. And then I repeat the same step for the other size. I will match this edge to this edge. You can use this crease and this crease as a preference as well. So when you fold up, just make sure that all the edges, I mean all the creases are matched. Then I will use both hands to fold this part in. Okay. And I put my hand here to push this part down. And I just push this one in. Okay. Okay, I'll open this layer and put it here. Now just work on this layer. So start from this edge, I'll fold to the center crease. Okay. Okay. Now we'll fold this part out. Use this edge and this edge as your preferences. Just fold this out. Match them. And then I'll put this layer back, I'll fold this layer to over here, and then I'll repeat the same step as we did before. I'll fold this part in. Let's I'll match this edge to this edge. Okay. Here we go. And then I'll open this layer. Next step, I will start from this layer. I will match this edge to the edge here. You can see the edge of the top layer. Okay, match edge. Not a perfect, not perfectly matched bit. You can use a corner here as a preference. So just for this. This edge match to this corner. Okay. Now open it like this. Then I'll repeat the same step for the other layer, but then I can use this edge now as a preference. Just fold this part down. Okay, and then fold this one down as well. Okay, so I will put this one back and then I need to make the wing. Actually, this is the wing. Okay, I'll just estimate about a quarter of an inch from here to here. And I'll fold this part up 
to make this wing stronger. Then repeat the same step for the other side. Okay. Then I open the layer. Okay, this is what you have so far. Okay, next step, I will turn the paper over. And then I will fold this part in. To, to hold the wing. Okay, this is important that you fold this part in to hold the wing. It's help to balance the air blends as well. Repeat the same step for this side. Okay. This is what you have so far. It's almost look like the air blend. Okay. Next step, I will turn the paper over one more time. Next step, I will, I will match this edge to this edge okay and then you can use this line here as a reference so do it slowly matches like this see that see that I match this edge and this edge this will create a straight line to this corner then you repeat the same step for the other side. You match this edge to this edge. Okay. Now it will be easier. You just push the part in. Next step, we make the wing. So we match this edge to this edge. Okay. Remember to remember to take the two layers because we have two layers here. We have to fold four layers to match this to the edge. And then you repeat the same step for the other side. So when I open the app and you have a shape like this. Cut it from there a little bit. Okay. Next step. You need to make the stabilizer. And here's this layer. I will fold this up to make the stabilizer. You see, you see the, the line here. I use this as a reference. I will not make the stabilizer. Longer than that. Just fold it straight to this corner. Fold it straight up. And then do the same step for this side. Okay. I'm sure you can stop uh, from here and just cut this elevator up and, and play with the air band. But I refer to you. One more step to make the uh, to hold the gap here. So you see this part here. It look really weird. So I will fold this this one in like this. Fold this one in. Now repeat the same step for the other side. Okay, and then this is the difficult step. They push this one in. You see how I do it here. See this part. Have something like this, and I will push this one in. Hold the gap. Okay. 
Next, I will fold this part of the elevator down. Just estimate about a quarter of an inch from th this corner to this point and fold this down to make the elevator stronger and make the paper airplane look more like the F-35. Okay, so the F-35 is completed. Now we show you how to control the airplane and how to play with this. As you can see here, this is the elevator. This will help elevate the airplane and you need to curve it up a little bit so the airplane will fly up. If you curve it down, the airplane will like go down. And also, this is the um, stabilizer. This will control the direction of the airplane as well. If you fold it to the left, fold to the left, it will fly more toward to the left, or, it's, uh, or the opposite side will fly toward to the right. Also, the wings sometimes you have to curve this part up a little bit as well, um, or you have to curve it down. So, play with this and uh, you will uh, know how to control it. And, uh, here we go. So, this is the F35. Check it out. If you like it, please subscribe. And like, I will create more airplanes later. Thank you for watching. See you next time. And this is the F-35. Uh, I'll show you how it's flying now.